<sighs> you know, it's a sad in me that y'all really haven't seen yet, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type of guy that gets real, real emotional when I'm watching like a show that has a sad scene. You know, you got a lot of dudes out there, niggas out there, guys out there who talk about they won't get emotional, they won't shed a tear, they won't cry over a sad scene. Well, I ain't one of them. Goddamn, I cried over Titanic. Well, I wouldn't say cry, but I got emotional over Titanic. It's so many damn shows that I had to actually just really walk away. Cause I couldn't believe that it made me get that damn emotional. Like that uh Fresh Prince episode when Will Smith father. You know, ended up walking out on him. Will thought he was about to go, you know, on a vacation with his father and he decided to walk away all. I can't tell you how much I cried in that scene, for real. Uh a couple of episodes on Boy Meets World that was kinda sad. Uh, but uh, so many damn TV shows that I mean it was so many that would get me so damn emotional I'd be like what the fuck is going on and a lot of movies and in particular this one scene I'm about to react to from Happy Days <sighs> just even thinking about it man it's already getting me because I already know this shit is I already know what's about to happen I already know what's about to be said it's been a while since I've seen it I mean, it's been years, actually decades since I've seen this episode, but I do remember it. I was in my teens the last time I watched this episode. I think I was around 16, 17, so that was a long time ago, y'all. Way back, back, back in the day. <laughs> but this particular scene is when uh, Fonz had to show his sensitive side, his emotional side. When someone that he loved was in a hospital close to death. I'm not going to get too much away if you have not seen it. But if you are a fan of Happy Days, hit me up in the comments and let me know. And make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Help your boy out, you know what I'm saying? But let's jump into this. Get myself ready, y'all. Uh. And by the way, I had to get this from someone else's channel it's kind of hard to find just regular shit on youtube you have to go on other people's shit just to get things that you like and i hate doing that for real i hate reacting to other people's shit that they post up on their channel but sometimes that's what pops up when you're looking for certain things that's just how it is but as you can see the title richie almost dies this is a very very sad scene it's not that long but it's very powerful the funds acted his ass off in this show. All right, let's go. We just have to wait and see. stay before but I'm here now Chachi says hello hello he loves working down that garage you know you can't do this sir, but a lot of people counting on you you know mother father Joan Ralph Potsy you can't go yet got a whole lifetime ahead of you you know I mean, you didn't even make the editor of that college paper yet. There's a lot of crummy journalism around. You gotta make it all straight. They need you. I need you. You're my best friend. I know, I've never said that before, but I'm saying it now. You are my best friend. And I don't want to lose you. Yeah. 
uh, sir, I'm gonna have a little chat here. It's my best friend, Richie. And he's in really bad shape. Yeah, I know you know that. Mm. But uh, the world is kind of going a little wacko, you know, and uh, you think you need people down here like him? Oh, shit. Man. See, you will understand what I was talking about before I did this, before I actually started reacting to the video on why this scene is so hard because if you were a fan of Happy Days, if your fat, you'll know your your uh your parents told you about this show, but you never watched it. I'm pretty sure you heard a certain like episodes. And if you know about Happy Days, then you know that Fonzie is a tough character. You know he was the one that they all went to for support. You know when they were either getting bullied. Or they had to get out of certain situations. Fonzie was the one that helped them out of, that bailed them out. He the one carried this show actually. Without the Fonz, I, I mean, Happy Days probably would have still been good because they made some amazing uh, episodes. And it, the season, every season was pretty much, it got better and better. But Fonzie, to get like this, it took a lot, and he actually showed his acting chops for real. Yeah, there's not too many episodes. There's several episodes though where he's actually sad, like the episode when uh, he found out about his brother. The episode with his father. Um, it's a couple more episodes, but uh, this is like this is just heart wrenching for real. You can just see it all in you know his face, the pain. He didn't want to lose his best friend, and Richie was his best friend on this show. They've been through a lot. Let's get back to it. You know, I do. <clears throat> yeah, I can fix a lot of things, but uh, this one is all yours. So uh, let's make a little deal. You do this for me. And I'll owe you one. You know, it's just making me go back to when, you know, when I first seen this episode, how fucking emotional I was. I was younger at the time, so, and I was an emotional kid. Anything got to me back then, for real. You know, now I'm a little older, it still affects me in a way. But, especially the end, when you see a man cry like that, you know it's real. But I hope y'all enjoyed that. And if just from this one reaction, I hope y'all start watching. If you never watched the show before, go back. You know, try watching it. Yeah, it's old. It's old school. It's in the 70s and 80s, but it's worth it. Believe me, it's worth it. It's one of the greatest shows. It is one of the greatest shows. And there are thousands of shows. I mean, thousands, maybe millions. And that's one of the greatest. So as always, thank y'all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. It's fucking late at night. I just couldn't sleep, so I just figured I'd get up and do some reactions. You know what I'm saying? Some reactions that probably won't get, you know, looked at a lot because a lot of people ain't into stuff like this. But it is what it is. It's what I'm into. It's what I like. You know what I'm saying? It ain't always about reacting to music and all that shit. Sometimes you just got to take it back. Sometimes you got to react to the things that you love, things that you're passionate about. That's how it is, y'all. So thank y'all for tuning in. I really do appreciate it.
And once again, like I said at the beginning of this video, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, click that bell. That's all it takes. Tap. That's all you gotta do. No harm. No. That's all you gotta do, y'all. Help, help support the channels. Support your boy. I'm trying, y'all. And like you see on the screen now, where I live by my motto, peace, love, and deuces.